I'm Devon Adams, and this is a special report. Keep India smiling. That's the number one objective of the oral and personal care company that leads the toothpaste market here today in our host country of India. Colgate Pomalaf India has been around for normally 200 years and leads the number one product that we all care to love, Colgate Toothpaste and Pomalaf soaps. But recently, CPI limited sales have, tri have trembled roughly 5 to 10 percent in most previous years, but their profits continue to rise to this day. So what can CPI Limited do to overturn these sales deficits? Recently, CPI Limited has launched new oral and outreach programs to offer some sort of oral relief towards those that reside in rural areas of India, roughly 30% of the population that do not have access to any dentist or oral care physicians. But CPI is leading the way with new innovative products such as new toothpaste that will uh, brighten enamel, brighten teeth, and new flavors such as orange, cinnamon, and mint. And by the way, I do love that orange mint. It does bring out the taste in your mouth a little bit. Today we're going to be focusing on why CPI should remain doing business in India. We're going to look at some, some of the factors that keep CPI, the company, where it is today. We're going to look at some of the cultural norms and some of its competitors to see how they compare in the toothpaste market. A little about CPI Limited, their CEO, Isam Bakalini, was with the company since 1997 and has been the CEO for four years in 2014. Now, here's Lakeisha Thompson on the state of CPI Limited. Thank you, Devon. Colgate Palmolive is a multinational consumer products company. It operates as a limited company in India, also known as an LTD. Colgate Palmolive India is a 51% subsidiary of Colgate Palmolive USA. With an employee growth of 1,130, Colgate Palmolive India has grown to a U.S. $230 million company. The current exchange rate in India is one ruby for every 0.014 U.S. dollars. The U.S. goods and trade deficit with India last year was $22.9 billion. As it relates to the FDI, foreign direct investment, in India it was $44.5 million. Wow, interesting. Very, Very interesting. Colgate Palmolive India is a global leader in the oral healthcare market. With a market share of 42.1% in the global toothpaste market and a 32.3% in the manual toothbrush market, Colgate toothpaste has become a daily commodity. In 1988, Colgate has established a wholly owned subsidiary in Nepal to manufacture its toothpaste. Colgate is leveraging India's vast population and increasing the company's capacity to reach the middle class. Colgate Palmolive India has made investments in over 10 million U.S. dollars in a new manufacturing company in Hishmal to meet the local demand. Colgate has also invested in technology, distribution, and human resources. India has a bilateral and multilateral trade agreement with the U.S. Regarding exports, we know what Johnny said about that. Whoever exports the most wins. Absolutely. India was the U.S.'s 15th largest goods export and the 11th largest supplier of goods imported. Colgate is planning to increase its exports to Sri Lanka and Bangladesh. In terms of purchasing power parity, India is already the third largest economy in the world. The Indian economy is set to overtake the Western Europe by the year 2030. And by the year 2050, it is set to overtake the U.S. economy, becoming the second largest economy in the world, wow. followed by China. That's really amazing. Jabril? Thank you, Alicia, for that information. The purchasing power is great in the country. In fact, it's reflect that stability and peace management in India are better than most countries in the region. Uh, also, the company is known for a quickly adapting uh, change uh, in behavior, customer behavior in the country, uh, and they constantly uh, innovate us uh, to offer the best uh, product for the consumer. Uh, the company does that with the technological expertise and investing in uh, hiring the, the best uh, talent uh, people in the country. Kage is also uh, an association with the Indian Dental Association, 
and they aim to improve the let's say uh, the oral health care awareness in a country and supporting the students around the country. So they, they do that uh, through the lecturing uh, program, training programs, and uh, conference and workshop too. So uh, they, uh, they, uh, they work together, people and a country, uh, and, a, and a company, the people they love this uh, project. Uh, in fact, they got awarded in 2016 for for uh, the most trusted brand in the country, but let's see how does it in a market with the competitive with the country. Go ahead, Ashley. See what's going on. A few competitors for Colgate Palmolive are Johnson and Johnson, Procter and Gamble, Morocco, Nerma, and Huel. Morocco is just one of an Indian consumer goods company providing consumer products and services in the health and beauty department. Nerma, on the other hand, is a group of companies based in India that manufactures from products ranging from cosmetics, soap, detergents, soda ash, and injectables. We also have Huel, which is also a consumer goods company that includes foods, beverages, and cleaning agents. Colgate Palmolive uses maple business analytics to gain a very high competitive advantage in the market. And Maples is just a practical tool for professionals in the field of market research to give you more insight on how the company is going. We also have Colgate Palmolive today that has one of the widest distribution markets in India right now, which makes them 4.64 million in the retail outlets across the country. Wow. wow. Right. And the company also has a high market in toothpaste by 53.7% of the value market share right now. Mm -hmm. And the rural India also contributes to the 1.3 of the FMCG sales and is likely to grow even further. The FMCG sales is the fast moving consumer goods products that are more likely to sell at a lower cost. Also, we just got word in today that Nestle and Colgate Palmolive it just announced a joint venture this week and we'll be releasing um, oral care gum and candies around around the world. That's now I'm passing it on to Shannon and she will discuss more about the norms and culture in India. Thank you Ashley. It is important that Colgate pay attention to India's culture, the values, and the norms. Did you guys know that the culture varies from each of the 29 states in India? 29 states? Yes. Wow. 29 states. Each, each having a different culture. Mm. India has an appreciation for hierarchy and structure in society when it comes to business. Because of its masculine society, the people in India are driven by competition, achievement, and success. India is also a patient country, and there is an acceptance for imperfection, which means that the tolerance for unexpectedly is very high. Expat managers should be familiar with the norms and culture in India. Mm -hmm. For instance, they should know that feet and footwear is considered unclean, which means shoes and sandals that are easy to slip on and off are recommended. Also, women working at Colgate Palm Olive should know to dress very discreet because they don't want to be considered eve teasing as they say in India. Now, with all this information, do you guys think that Colgate Palm Olive should continue to do business in India? Of course. Absolutely. I think it has a very um, stable um, purchasing power parity. The economy is growing at an extreme fast rate, and it's expected that they will reach a $830 million growth in the fiscal year of 2019. Oh, wow. Divine? Well, Colgate Palm Olive manufactures their own toothpaste, which I think is a big plus for them to um, have a really competitive advantage over their competitors. Um, if Colgate Pomala wants to continue thriving in India, they have to listen to uh, their consumers, the people that purchase their products. You know, what do they want in a toothpaste? What uh, kinds of, um, you know, um, types of, you know, things that they want in a toothpaste? Yeah. So you're saying like be innovative? Yeah, being like innovative. So like for instance, you know, things that can protect the teeth from, you know, um, harmful, you know, oral orders or things of that sort of nature like tartar or, you know, plaque or things like that. Mm -hmm. Because, when, you know, when we go to a store, we want a toothpaste that's going to create value. And I think of Colgate from India keeps on that 
same track that they're providing the number one brand for almost seven years now. Mm -hmm. I think they're, they're really going to have a competitive advantage towards the toothpaste market in India. And that's my viewpoint of why I believe that Colgate from all of India Limited should keep thriving in business in India. Okay. And thank you for watching Colgate from all of India News.